Hi everyone. Wrapped up really warm today. It's a freezing cold spring day in March. Luckily the snow's disappeared. Bit of a sad one for us today as we've been emptying our Cadiz ready to take to the dealers tomorrow. Not all sad though as we will be collecting our brand new 2023 Bailey Unicorn Cartagena next week. So all exciting. We've emptied the van, everything's stored in, both cars at the moment ready to transfer to the new van next week. Uh, we've had a big sort out as touring and both the seasonal pitch, we've accumulated so much crap. So had a really big sort out and as you do as a woman, I've bought lots of little new bits for the new van. So we're just going to give you a tour inside the van. So we're inside the van, a lot warmer than outside today, absolutely freezing. So we've got the uh, smoke and carbon monoxide alarms. We've taken the battery out and just popped it on the shelf so the dealer can fit that again. One thing that I really like about the Cadiz is the cupboards are really deep. I find on some of the models like the Swifts, the cupboards are quite shallow. These are really deep, so you can get loads of clothes in. With us being on a, a seasonal site, we have clothes in the van all of the summer, so we can get a really good amount in these. This cupboard, we've got the aerial and the um, TV booster. We've got the JVC dab radio and CD player on there. A really nice picture window, which has been really nice when we've toured in places with really nice um, scenery. Tim's just taking all the locks off as we're ready, getting ready to go to the dealers. Pull out table here. That's brilliant that when we're touring just us two, we can eat there. Obviously, when we've got the children, we mainly eat in the awning um, with the seasonal pitch, but we're able to pop the, um, the table here and eat as a family of four, no problem. So loads of storage. These sofas, really, really comfortable. Um, they're not sprung loaded like the the ones on the new van, but they're really comfortable. And it pulls out into a, a really big size double bed. So that's really good. We've got a little cupboard here. You can use that for your gin or red wine. We just used to use it for storing plastic beakers for the kids. Your plate and cup cupboard. Another useful cupboard, loads of kitchen storage in here. I've compared this van to quite a lot of others and this van is really generous. Down here we've got another big cupboard with a little hidden shelf under there. So again, really generous space. Another one under the sink with all the gas points. Cutlery drawer. Oven there with grill and big double oven, really good size. We've got three burners and a, a multi-burner there. Microwave and a good size sink. Quite a good size um, work surface there. Obviously you've got the additional flap here that goes up, but really good size for serving meals. That's the Audi central heating and water control. Two plugs there. I found the Adrias were missing quite a lot of plugs. Um, obviously kettle and toaster is essential, so those two plugs are there. Obviously the Cadiz has the setup of the two fixed single beds which the girls used to use. Um, this bed here is shorter, so Holly, our 15 year old, had the larger one. Sean had the smaller one. Again, loads of storage. Um, six double cupboards overhead and a little cubby hole there. We also had added the 
TV stand so the girls can watch this at their end whilst we had a TV down on the front there. So into the bathroom. One thing I loved about this bathroom was this humongous cupboard. I'm really going to miss this. It's huge. <clears throat> it stores the table. It's got a humongous hanging rail. Um, again, brilliant for a seasonal pitch. Um, that's the laundry basket. The shelves up there where we used to store all of the towels for beach, showers, pools, etc. And down here, a little secret cubby hole, which is where the laundry basket is meant to hook. But we just used to use it for extra storage. Um, radiator would be good if you could just put a little couple of those sticky hooks there so you can dry towels above the radiator obviously a toilet sink and a really good sized shower so back into the van one thing we wanted in the new van was a fridge freezer as big as this one again really important for us because we're on a seasonal pitch we can do a good week shop and fit it in this fridge it's really big um, handy little freezer compartment as well for storing ice cubes ice lollies for the kids etc cupboard above that's the truma sister in there and then a little cupboard underneath. So yeah, we're really going to miss this van. Um, as I said, we've we've had it for three years and we've done loads of holidays in it, made loads of memories. Um, but it's just time now um, for us to have a bit of bit of luxury. So we've gone for the fixed island bed in the Cartagena. Um, and the children can either sleep on the front bunks as they are six foot five they're huge uh, pull that out to a double or we have still got our best way inflatable king size mattress which is really comfortable that we set up in the awning um, so yeah we hope you uh, enjoyed the video if you could like and subscribe that would really help us out and uh, keep you updated for new videos on the new van take care everyone bye